Do you know anything about it? Yes, like it is a code block C C plus. C plus plus. Yes. Okay. Uh, there are various platforms. It's not just founded to C plus plus. Okay. My okay. name is uh, Ratya, and I'll be teaching you this chapter. Okay. Now, first topic is first we will start with the basic introduction about computer programming. And what uh, the basic introduction about computer programming means? What are the topics included in it? Are what is computer programming? Basics of programming. All the applications of computer programming. What is computer program? Use of computer program and who is computer programmer? These are the very basic things that you should know before starting any language. Now, first of all, we will learn that what is computer programming. Computer programming is a step-by-step -step process of designing and developing various sets of computer programs to accomplish a specific computer outcome. Uh, basically what is programming programming means to follow some basic steps or uh, if you have a goal and you have to reach that goal or you have to make something obviously you will start from basic things from collecting things uh, from placing them step by step okay even if you okay. say about the recipe if you are cooking something or you have to make a, any project what will you do first you will first um, gather all the in ingredients all the things that will be used and then you will process it step by step you will organize them you will design them you will place them so that is the way of computer programming also it is a step by step process of designing and developing various sets of computer programs to accomplish a specific computer outcome to get a spe uh, specific outcome or uh, output that we want the process comprises several tasks like analysis, coding, algorithm generation, checking, accuracy, and resource consumption of algorithm, etc. Now, it has uh, the process contains several tasks like you have to first analysis about that what you are doing and how you will do that. Then you have to do a code. Then you will place uh, uh, some operations like algorithm, or uh, you will see that how it will flow. Then you will check how accurate that project is or that software is and what are the resources that are consumed now the purpose of computer programming is to find a sequence of instructions that solve a specific problem on a computer and what is the purpose of computer programming it, will, it is to find a specific solution uh, to build a software and how we will sequence it what will be the instructions how we will uh, or the computer will take the instructions and he will perform several tasks for us computer programming is very easy if it is appropriately managed there are many computer programming languages available so finalizing the right programming language is not an easy task now as i told that there are many software um, programming languages in which you can code but okay. you have to see that what is your program about and which language do you know the most on which language you have the command or which language you find an easy to do so that is a really complicated thing that uh, you might might get confused that no uh, this language is also good but i know this language better some languages needs more coding but some languages don't uh, need that much code but they are difficult so it is very tricky to choose now what are the basics of programming english is the most popular and well known human language as we all know the english language has its own set of grammar rules which has to be followed to write in english language correctly obviously when we write english or we talk in english uh, some of the grammatical uh, there are rules to talk or to write or to write some specific like letter or application or an essay there are specific rules so we have to follow that likewise any other human languages german spanish russian every language has its own rules so that is the compatible of programming language now the english language or uh, other languages uh, that a human can understand the humans have rules but the computer languages that computer can stand it also has some rules 
okay just like human languages programming languages uh, also follow grammar grammar called syntax now in our language we call it grammar uh, grammar issues or grammar rules in computer language that is called the syntax rule the syntax should be accurate if you want to perform some code there are certain basic program code element which are common for all programming languages and what are these rules the most important basic elements of programming languages are first we need a programming environment second we need data types then variables keywords logical arithmetical operators if else conditions loops number character arrays functions input and output operation now these are the basic things that are used in almost every programming language their syntax can be different their wording can be different but the meaning of these will be same so i will now explain all of them one by one first thing is programming environment now what is programming environment it is your programming environment is the computer you do your work on and all the software that's installed on your system which helps you write and run programs now programming environment means obviously you need a proper environment in which you can do the coding now you can't just start coding on a page on a mobile phone or any other device unless until you have that software the things you need to start your program is a hardware and a software on which you will run your program you will code so that is the programming environment the second is data type what is a data type now you every numbers or characters or the thing you write in the code is specified by a data type that if you are writing in a number that data type will be in numbers you will specify that now i am writing numbers it means it should be displayed or considered as number if you are writing any um, alphabets you will tell them i am writing as alphabets or i am writing the name in alphabets so consider it as alphabet so that uh, the computer can also understand the software could also understand that what are you writing a data type in programming is a classification that specifies which type of value a variable has and what type of mathematical relational or logical operations can be applied to it without causing an error now um, it is an example like if we talk with a fellow we will probably talk in english or in our mother language but if there is some if we talk about the urban areas our uh, grand grandparents so if they ne- uh, listen or they speak punjabi language so we have to change ourselves our speaking language or speaking type language type will be converted into punjabi that is the same like example of data type what we are writing what we are telling to computer we need a type that computer can also understand that in which language we are writing variable a variable is a name unit of data that is assigned a value if the value is modified the name does not change now variable uh, the value of the variable can change the variable can be a b c or any name for example you are writing uh, if you are writing a code and you need a name you will write name is equal to your name like in facebook you can say or um, when you log in or when you sign up to a new account there is a portion of name so the variable is name the written n a m e that word but the text box contains the data type alphabets character that will take your name in alphabets so the variable's value can be changed but the its n- uh, name will be constant have you understood yes miss okay now what is keyword keyword are predefined reserved words and identifiers are the values used to define the different programming items like variable integer structures union keyword always start with lower case whereas identifier can start with the upper case letter as well as lower case letter now what does it mean the keywords can be int now what does int mean it means integer integer what is integer integer is the numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on 
when we will write integers and some alphabet in it or some variable in it it means that we can only type the numbers in that place we can't store alphabets in that when we write c h a r it means character character means that we can store only alphabets in it while statement means that run that program while you get this we will make a condition you can make a condition that while this happens you will continuously rotate it you will continuously go with the flow you will continuously run the program and as for the do now the next one is arithmetic operation what does arithmetic operation means arithmetic operation in the code means you have you can add two numbers you can subtract two numbers you can multiply two numbers you can divide two numbers and so on and then the other operators are also is equal to it can be greater or less than these are arithmetic operators that can use in um, arithmetic form in mathematics you can say the words that use uh, are used in mathematics the next one is logical operators now what does logical operators means it is uh, as it is confirmed by is the saying logic that condition or the statements must have some logic that it is true or false and for this thing we use the three operators that are logical operators and or and not now what does and mean now here in and and in or we need two things to be compared like it can be two variables it can be two uh, numbers that can be compared like you can say uh, we can write here 2 and 3 now 2 and 3 it means that the two the first value and the second value should be same and 2 and 3 are not same so this condition will be false and means both the conditions should be true should be same or means anyone can be same means anyone if we uh, if we have a condition that uh, the value of r is equal to 3 and there are two numbers 2 or 3 so the one condition is true it means that that is true and if the both conditions doesn't match then that number that means it will be false but in not not means that this condition cannot be true and in these blanks there can be anything anything means any name any number any character any symbol you can place anything you will learn it further about in the when we will start the programming language then you will be more cleared but first you have to clear that what does and mean and means both the things should be true should be there should be present in the programming language or means one thing should be placed and not means the condition is not true or that number is not true understood yes understood? miss okay yes miss now the next condition is if else condition now here i will tell you about if else condition now it is uh, obvious by the name that if else that if it is true then okay if it is not true then go to the else condition the other condition and run that condition so if the if else condition is used to execute a code block based on the specific conditions that need to be true you can also add more than one condition to your script furthermore an else block can be defined and execute it all conditional statements and that are tested false uh, for example here you have written the condition like one is greater than zero now uh, if uh, here you write that one is greater than zero one is greater than zero uh, i think no uh, better one is greater than zero yes 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 this yes, is yes. one is greater than yes okay now here you can see this line that true there is true now what does true means that we have to run this part because this statement is true that is the if condition okay that one is greater than zero should be written here and now we will test that if this condition is true it will go on the true part and then it will execute whatever it is written there for example we want to print that 
it is right right answer okay so it will print right but but it is not equal to if we have put minus 1 then minus 1 is obviously not greater than 0 it is smaller than 0 okay how minus okay, one, how minus 1 is uh, great smaller than 0 it come before 0 it come first it comes 0 then it comes towards the minus negative side minus 1 so that yes. condition is false so it will if it is false it will go this way run the false statement and what will be the false statement that it is wrong now have you understood the if else condition that if the our condition will be right it will go on the right side the true side and run the if block but if our condition is wrong it will automatically if, even if we don't write the else part in the coding it will automatically run the else part for us this part okay and then the program okay. will terminate but if we have written the if part one again we make a condition here below the this statement again we have another if part which can say check whether one is greater than two or not then what will it do it will run first this condition if one is greater than zero okay true then it will come down to check if the other if condition is true or not it will first run all the if part that are in the line and then in the end if these all statements goes wrong it will run the else part otherwise it will just terminate your program and will not if it is true then it will not run this part the false part okay understood okay understood. yes miss okay loops now what are loops loops means to execute a certain block of code or statement multiple times mainly used to reduce the length of the code by executing the same function multiple times and reducing the code's redundancy if we did not have loops we would have to use the iterative method to print a repetitive block of statement which would look something like this now what does loop mean loop means that when we have to repeat one thing again and again that is a loop so if we were, we were not using the loop method what we will be doing if we want the good morning statement to write five times we will write it see out see out means the um, current output that we have to output or print this thing so it will be printing five times good morning only then when we will write five times good morning now if five times or 10 times is okay but what if we have to write something 5000 times or a thousand times or a hundred times will we be writing uh, the hundred times all the lines obviously no now for that thing the loop conditions come the loop statement come but that is an example from c++ as i told the main purpose of the coding will be same uh, but the syntax can be changed then what will we be doing we will like this we will uh, do for statement and what does this for mean now as i have told you before int int means integer means any number so we have uh, initialize an i statement and i variable which is equal to 1 okay and this loop will run until i is equal to 5 or less than 5 and then i plus plus because i is initially 1 it will plus plus i again and again this process will continue now how it will run first the program will start with these braces then we have for statement for what does for say for say the num variable i is equal to 1 then we will check the condition now this is the condition statement now what does it say i is less than or equal to 5 it is less than 5 now so that is true then this program will go down after the second conditional statement then what will it print it will print good morning it has 
written good morning okay then what will it do this program will end here and it will straight goes up to i plus plus so i was one firstly when we run the program i was one then this will be addition in i now the i becomes two okay when i becomes two it will again go to then this statement okay. and it will see two is less than or equal to five yes it is less than less than five then it will go again to the see out the print uh, statement it will again print now this is one time print good morning it will again print good morning that is number two two again it will go up and again it will add one to i now what is i it is two when it will be plus one it will become three again three is less than five okay it will again print good morning then it will go up it will print uh, that i will be four again four is less than five it will again print good morning then again it will become now five now i is smaller or equal than 5 yes it is equal than 5 for the fifth time it will print good morning then when it will go to uh, uh, i plus plus the i will become 6 now what does the conditional statement now say it say that i is less than or equal to 5 no because i is 6 6 is not equal and nor less than 5 it is greater so this statement becomes false and when this statement will become false it will not enter this part this printing part this statement will straightly go to the return part and it will end this program so with the minimum code with only two uh, lines we have written all the good morning statements five times now you have you understand the uh, purpose of for loop yeah or the loop yes, method miss. yes miss now this is for that we, i have discussed with you now loops has three types it is while and do while loop also now what does while in while we just write the condition we initialize up and we just we will just write the condition like this is uh, written that i should be greater than or less than 5 we will just write this condition and run that program until this condition get false when this will be false it will out and do while is also the same but it has two or three lines have you understood the concept of loops yes miss okay that's good number characters and arrays now what are number character and arrays they are uh, used in coding and they are very important very important because if we didn't put our numbers or characters or arrays well our program will not run like we want we will not get an output that we want so first is numbers every programming language provides support for manipulating different types of numbers such as simple whole integer floating point number Programming languages categorize these numbers in several categories based on their nature. Now, numbers also have the range. Okay. Now, what is the range? If we just type number, its keyword will be INT, integer. Okay. And its ratio will be from minus, uh, I couldn't read it, I think uh, minus 32, 678. That is the range from plus to minus. And then again these numbers and in this we can add as many numbers as we want much we can add much larger amount then the, if we want to enter only we want to bound uh, the programmer to enter short language uh, the short numbers then the keyword will be short for example uh, in the previous we have written the int integer one so except of int if we want a short and limited numbers we will write here the short this short short i now short i means that this will be the number and the number will only lies in this category it can't be exceed from say even six seven uh, seven sixty eight 
from plus side it can't even be 68 it will just lie on 67 number now if you want long number then we will use the keyword long and this is the ratio of the long and decimal number now what does decimal number means it means that we can combine an alphabetical numbers also for example if we want to add a temperature so we will write the float keyword because temperature can be uh, in Fahrenheit or Celsius or if we are uh, measuring something so we have to write the accurate number that it is either in inches or it is in foot or centimeter or meter so then we will use the keyword float understood numbers concept yes miss now the second one is character what is character characters are alphabets okay now, if it was easy to work with numbers in computer programming, it would be even easier to work with characters. Because what is character? Number we can um, mainly confuse, we can get confused, but characters, characters are language. We know how to play with alphabets, how to write things in our language. So, characters are simple alphabets like A, small a, b, c, d, capital A, b, c, d, but with an exception. Now, what is that exception in computer programming? Any single digit number like 0, 1, 2 and special characters like dollar sign, percentage, plus or minus, etc. are also treated as characters. But when? Characters should be placed between these quotes. These quotes are really important. To tell them that we are writing characters. Even if we write this C H A R that is the keyword of character the variable is ch and is equal to a that will not be considered as character as an alphabet why because it is not quoted in single quotes it will be considered as that ch is one variable and a is another variable so with whatever value a is having is automatically transferred to character ch that's not what we want. We want the character should be A or character should be any name. We can, uh, if we write any name in that box, for example, if I read, uh, write your name. So this is character, okay? But if your name is not placed in single quote, it will consider as another variable. And this explanation, uh, this, uh, what is this called? So not explanation mark. That is for the end statement. It tells the program that statement has been end. Now, if we want to write character like here, uh, like this number is saying 0, 1, 2, or we want to assign some special characters, what will we do? We will also place that character in semicolon, uh, in single brackets, uh, simple columns, simple quotes. Sorry. So then this one will be considered as character. And if you write it without like ch is equal to one, it will say that, okay, ch is a variable that has the value one. That means C, uh, ch is equal to one. But that statement will get false because there is written character. There is not integer. So we can't store any number in it. We can't store any um, special character in it unless until we have these single quotes. Understood the concept of characters? That how to initialize or write the character and give its value? Yes, miss. Here, character is a variable of character type which can hold a character of the implementation character set and A is called a character. Literally or a character constant not only a b c but when any number like one two three or special character likes explanation mark at the rate hashtag dollar sign is kept inside the single quotes now here the single quote is really important with the character keyword then they will be treated as a character literal and can be assigned to a variable or character type. So the following is a valid statement. These both are the valid statements. But if we write without single quotes, then that will not be a valid statement. Now this is the array. What does array mean? Array means to store larger amount of numbers uh, like we store in a table. 
we store the number in a table if there will be no array then the program will look like this in teacher number 1 we have to name every variable we have to store every value to every variable and then we have to print every variable to get our desired output that is also a bit difficult thing now you can see that here we have initialized five variables then we have initialized them values and then we have printed all the five now obviously this code is lengthy now what is the safer way now the safer way is it was simple because we just had to store just five integer numbers now let's assume we have to store 5000 integer numbers are we going to use 5000 variables no to handle such situations almost all programming languages provide a concept of an array an array is a data structure which can store a fixed size collection of elements of the same data type an array is used to store a collection of data but it is often more useful to think of an array as a collection of variables of same type now what is the main thing of array array the main thing is that it can store a same number if you initialize that an array is about integer values then you can only store the numbers in it and it doesn't matter if that numbers are above 100 or above 200 or 300 or 5000 it doesn't matter but they should be in numbers an array is used to store a collection of data but it is often more useful to think of an array as a collection of variables of the same time it is not about just the numbers just to store numbers it is also about the variables or the index number that you allot them instead of declaring individual variables such as number 1 number 2 number 99 you just declare one array variable number of integer type and use number 1 as in 0 number 1 as in 1 and so on till 99 to represent individual variables here 0 1 2 99 are index now what is 0 1 2 if you write that you have an array of array of you will declare it as the in the square bracket if you write that it is array of five numbers it means the index number would be from 0 to 4 the array will not be started from 1 it will always start from 0 okay all array consists of contiguous mm -hmm. memory locations the lowest address corresponds to the first element and the highest address to the last element now what does it mean the lowest index number will be the first number but what will be the highest number index will be it will be the last number because the index starts from 0 so 0 always will be the first and the 4 always will be the last to create an array variable in c program as programmer specifies the type of the elements and the number of elements to be stored in that array given below is a simple syntax to create an array in c programming now what will you do you will just simply write type means it is integer type it is character type or whatever type it is is integer or it can be a character type which ever type you want that will be the keyword or type will be written here then you will write the array name array name can be anything for example uh, you write the serial number you can say the serial number is your array name and then there will be the array size now what will be the array size this is the syntax of writing an array and this is written the uh, numbers integer type the variable is number and the array size is 10 now what does this 10 means it means starting from 0 to 9 this is the last number 0 to 9 and if you count it is 10 so it will start with the 0 here number is a variable array which sufficient to hold up to 10 integers and you can place here if there is written 10 you can even write it 100 it means 0 to 99 you can even write 200 it means from 0 to 199 array size can be anything and you can store anything in that the syntax syntax is clear to write an array and what is the meant of array 
array will store your programs your numbers in this table form in the linear form it can be linear it can be vertical but it will place with an uh, index number so you don't have to write uh, the other variables like number one, number two, number three, number four, and place the values. No, you don't have to write this index number. Just will mention that how many indexes are there and you will place the value. And now how will you place the value? Now see, this is a program. Don't uh, go from up from there, just uh, after that, because that is the main header file that we will be using uh, when we will start our language. So start from this integer array we are using array number is a variable now what is placed in this array there are new integer and array of 10 means 0 to 9 this is the output okay an example output so 10 means that now here is the while statement I just told you that while has only the condition statement I is equal to 0 and I will run until I will be less than 10 means when I will be 9 and it will less than 10, 10 it will run and when this 9 will become 10 the program will execute it will not run, uh, it will uh, end it will not run I will just come to the array part the I is integer number and I is equal uh, is plus 100 what is I obviously I is 1 I is 0 and 100 will be first add 0 in it and then it will print it the printing process is there now we will print the 0 to 9 and the addition of 100 but we will not be using it again and again we, we are using the loop method to print it and when number 0 obviously index 0 index 0 will print 100 this is the printing part that number D what will be written in number D the I and is equal to D the other means integer uh, the array is this confirm or do you have any confusion no, no, it's good so this is the loop method okay it okay and in loop method obviously we need some statement to run the program again and again okay so what okay. is that variable that variable is I that will run this method again and again because we don't have to print just once we have to print it nine times and nine different numbers so this is the loop method which we are using and it will the initial number is 100 and we will add one number to 100 in every index here is the increment addition number that first the i will be zero so zero plus 100 it will be 100. 100. Now, what will the uh, print statement do? The print statement will write the number and the percentage D means that whatever is written after comma, that value will be transferred here. Now, what is the I value? I value is 0. Initial I value is 0, no? Yes. And what is the value in number I? It is 100. See, here yes, this is 100 yes, and 100 is placed yes. here. So, it will write number 0 index is equal to 100. It is done. Now, it yes. has done i is equal to i plus 1. Now, i was, uh, I was 0. When it will plus 1, it will be 1. Now, this program will go to the while statement again. Now, what does the while statement say? i is 1, 1 is less than 10, then it will come down. Now the i value is 1. Okay? And 1 will also add it in 100. Okay. Now the 100th value becomes 101. That is again printed. 101. Like this, again it will increment and it will become 2. Again it will go up to the while statement. And like this, it will print 109. And the i value will be 9. When this i value will turn 10. Now 10 is less than 10. Is it true or false? 10 is equal than 10. Yes. So means it, this statement is false. So 
now when this statement is false it will not go there it will directly end the program because there is nothing uh, there is no else which we can perform when this statement will goes wrong the all program will work will stop working and it will just print these things at the end now have you confirmed are you clear yes yes miss okay good okay next is about functions and okay what are the function the function is a block of organized reusable code that is used to perform a single related action functions provide better modularity for your application okay what mainly what is the function 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 is to recall something or uh, to call any function to write or uh, tell any statement to do something for example a print f is a statement what will print f do it will take an integer uh, or any number and print name will print it simple print f or print is a function which will print whatever we will tell them to print now here it is print f means it will write hello that is built in function print f is built in function that whatever we write in these round brackets and double quotes it will directly print an output and when we write this is the user defined that we have made a program we have made a function how we have made a function we will use the void word to make a function and that function is name is print name and there is again a print f statement which says that print java point then when we will call this print name function it will find that where this function is because it is not built in function in programs we have personally built that function it will go to this statement that is function okay what does that function says that function says print java point then there is written uh, written java point hello java point that will be our output one is user defined that is also called library function uh build in function and the second is user defined that we have built in our coding these two are called functions functions can be scan f scan f means ki you take input print f you print something get s that you get any number and uh, like that there are so many functions that you can use in your program that are built in functions and that is that we made user defined in our programming like this we made our own function that says that print name clear yes miss okay now input output operation now what are the input output operations input is obviously when we get something from user uh, for example when we write uh, when we log into our facebook account there is written email and password what does that email and password says this says that we need your input enter something with keyboard or mouse enter some number that we want that is input and what is the output that uh, that program shows up that is the output thing now in programming language we use the print f statement to print and scan f statement to get an input that is for output if we write if we write here scan f that is a function but we have to get if there is a value n we have placed a variable n and we have to get the value of n when we will run this program there will only be a space where we have we have to enter the value of n for example we enter the value of n2 we have press it we have not written in the output n is equal to 2 if we say then when we will write print f statement n what will it do it will print the answer 2 because we have told him to print n we have get the number n and it will only be when we will run our program the black screen or whatever screen comes up when we will enter the value 2 then it will display the value 2 if we don't enter any value it will not display any value that will be an error now did you get it scan f is used for input and print statement is used to print the data understood yes miss now the basic the basics of programming these are the main basics of programming that every programming languages uh, want 
now there are applications what does applications mean applications means the software that we are using there are many software that we can use there is a python that is used for the desktop uh, like computer desktop applications the web pages the web and internet development scientific numeric applications desktop gui's that graphics we can see on our desktop our computer or laptops desktop is because of python languages python coding then there is java it is mainly used to uh, store big data or build in web pages or some android apps but it is a uh, it is not uh, very commonly used nowadays it is very rarely used then there is one language that is called r it is a data science if used for data science projects or any mathematical computing javascript is also used including web or mobile app development game development swift is also which is used for ios apps for apple apps we build then there is c++ it is used in game development also the advanced computations graphics c sharp php sql sql is used uh, for storing any data and sql can be attached to any programming language to uh, retrieve the data to get the data and show and then there is go and there are many more languages applications of computer programming these are the uh, basics uh, platforms where we do our coding then we have the what is computer program we are talking about computer programming but actually what is computer program computer program is a list of instructions that the computer machine follows to properly accept input correctly process them and presents the result in the most understandable way now if we don't write a program in a good way or we don't give computer a good instructions that what to do how will this machine understand that what we want unless until we give them instructions and if we, we don't talk about the programs uh, i talk about that if we are if we want, if we want to open any video we can talk no we can't say computer please open our video so it will obviously if you have the voice research voice search engine that it will ask which video we have to give him proper instruction or we have to properly click or open that folder from where we want that video so we have to give this machine a proper instructions to run that is called a program the list of instruction is called a program the uh, sequence is called the program now programs are of uh, basically of two major classes or two types one is application system and the second is operating system now what is application system the built in thing that our computer have for example uh, we just open a um, word document processing or we just we start playing the games so that is an application a built in application like in our mobile phone i we just open our facebook we just open the camera that is an application but what is operating system an operating system is a program that manages the computer and various resources devices connected to it such as ram hard drive monitor obviously we can't open any application without operating system if we don't have the windows and our device don't has uh, random access memories we don't have hard drives or we don't have the modems our system will not work our application will not work so to make applications work we need an operating system and they both combine and make the computer program work that is computer program then the use of computer program or if we have the system if we have all the programs or we have the program um, platforms but we don't know how to use it it is of no use if we don't have operating system if we don't have that software if our computer don't have the capability or the ram or the hard drive to run it it is of no use so today computer programs are being used in almost every field household agriculture medical entertainment defense communication etc listed below are few applications of computer program now what are the computer programs that are um, used in today's life and very frequently they are using ms word ms excel adobe photoshop internet explorer chrome etc are example of computer program now computer program are being used to develop graphics special effects in movie making obviously uh, when we build a game 
or we edit any video we need the graphics and all these things so these are also the part of computer programs then computer programs are being used to perform ultrasound x ray and other medical examination how a machine can detect human bones obviously through a specific software program because other than that no machine can take an x ray of a human body bones or a human body unless until any software is installed in that so computer programs are being used in our mobile phones our sms our chat our voice communications and so on today's generation knows very well about computer programs and the uses of computer program where else the computer programs are being used and how they are being used and then our last one is who is computer programmer now what do you think who is computer programmer uh, we are the computer programmer we are the computer program we program the computer no um, you can say we but who are i need a proper answer obviously who programs who writes on that platform that we have given someone who can write computer programs or in other words someone who can do computer programming is called a computer programmer now if you talk about we right now i am a teacher i am not a programmer if you talk about yourself right now you are a student who is learning about what is computer programming who is a programmer who writes the code who uses the programming software um, platforms to write code and to generate some software to make softwares to build something to use the computer programming and the computer programs to build something that is called computer programmer understood yes miss based on computer programming languages expertise we can name a computer programmer as follows now there are some uh, one or two there is added that perl programmer ruby programmer c programmer c++ java python php and many more obviously i told you that there are uh, more than these languages but the basics that are uh, taught in uh, universities are c c++ java and now it it's uh, starting with the python and php also but the basics are c c++ c sharp java or javascript and sql sql database is very important because it stores the data and by the use of these other programs you can take the data uh, out and you can show the data in your uh, program if you don't have sql database you can't store uh, like in hotels or restaurant uh, you can see that um, if you go to their menu the all menu you can see the written menu that is in from the database but when you operate it you uh, put them into the cart and or you delete something or you double the amount of something that is the programming but the name of the ingredients and all the things are your from database so the database is really important while you are doing a a programming software when you are making when it needs a data to retrieve or to delete something if you want to add some data like a student registration data you can say student information the uh, universities or schools have that software which stores every new students information in it that is a software that stores but where it stores it store in sql database system are you clear about today's lecture is there anything you want to ask uh, i will start up the slide again and please take a look and tell me if you want to ask anything okay miss basic of programming you have understood about all the programming environment data types keywords variables yes yes okay arithmetic operations there are math- these are mathematical operations that are really easy to understand logical operators can be bit tricky then there are loop statements these are called iterative or that can uh, move in a uh, there is more than one question in, in my school time they had include stereo it is not important in programming there are in in my school there had include stereo this in here this right 
iOS team. It is different or same? Hashtag include studio. But that is another. Yeah. Um, these are the step by step things. Oh. That what okay. these uh, classes means and how the classes are made. So that is later. When we do some mathematical operations, there are hashtag include in the brackets. There are written math dot h. So that is the library that we can use the mathematical um, equations in that that allow us that is for that now what does io stream means io input output stream here because we are doing an input output no? so that is for that when we will be doing uh, mathematical operations or we have to use graphics in it then we will include hashtag includes graphic.h or math.h or studio.h okay these are for okay. that thing libraries have you understand the concept of array as well yes yes and there are functions that are built in and uh, user defined also yes yes input output you have cleared these are the applications or you can say the platforms where we do the coding yeah computer programs use of computer programs these are the very basics that everyone i think so no okay. the difficult part was the basics of uh, programming so learn them very well so i will yes, ask miss. in next lecture okay and miss understood uh,